Introducing Vera Next. Simple, smart, fast and interactive are the qualities we had in mind while developing it. Both the CPU and the GPU renders are now much faster, more interactive and smarter than ever. Let me show you some of the smart improvements we've made to it. Improved and now adaptive dome light. V-Ray will sample only the areas of the dome light that contribute to the lighting. The areas that are not contributing will be ignored, which results in faster and more accurate renders. Setting up your interior lighting has never been easier. Simply create a dome light, load an HDR map into the texture slot, and you're done. Sky portals are no longer necessary, which will simplify and speed up your workflow. With Vera and Next, clicking on one checkbox can make your scene render a lot faster. We now support the NVIDIA AI Denoiser. It's constantly learning and trying to find the best and fastest way to denoise your image. This denoiser is amazing at guessing what the image should look like without the noise, and because of that, it's most useful for look development. Did I forget to mention that it will denoise your image in less than a second? VRA Next can also automatically adjust your exposure and white balance, like the auto setting you might find in a real camera. Next uses the light cache to calculate the best settings to ensure that you will have as little noise and as fast render time as possible. All these features work on GPU as well. Since we started talking about the GPU, let's take a look at it. The first thing that you might notice is that there's no more RT. You will find the GPU rendering engine in its place, and you can use it in both IPR and production mode. We have rearranged and simplified the interface for ease of use. In next GPU, only the supported features are listed. The GPU has a brand new core, doubling the render speed with the new graphics cards. That, combined with the optics denoiser and the adaptive dome light, will have a dramatic impact on render times. What's more, the environment fog is now also supported on the GPU, and naturally, it renders a lot faster. And next to GPU, the V-Ray scan technology is also supported, which means that now you can benefit from our extensive material library, packed with photoreal materials. V-Ray Next has even more new and improved features to offer. We have developed a brand new physiologically based hair shader. It's much simpler to work with, and the results you can get out of it are simply beautiful. Next can also denoise render elements, and the standalone denoiser tool has a brand new interface. The distributed rendering system is also improved. It will release the DR machines if they finish early, so they're available for other jobs. If you take a look at the render elements, you will find several new ones. One of them is the lighting analysis tool. It will accurately measure light levels in your scene.
check out our detailed blog post for more information. Another major focus of our work was the Vurek Cloud Service. We have a new button you can find in the Vurek toolbar. One click and your scene will be exported and submitted for rendering. After it's done, you can download the results. If you want more information about the cloud service or anything else related to our products, make sure to check out our website, chaosgroup.com.